So in this section, uh, we are going to be solving equations, but in order to do that, we need to be able to solve al or simplify algebraic expressions. So our goal is to try to simplify algebraic expressions. Uh, well, what is an algebraic expression? An algebraic expression is just a mix of uh, numbers and variables along with operations. So uh, a couple of examples of algebraic expressions might be something like 2x plus 1 or 3 times 5y plus 12, right? So we've got multiplication and addition mixed in here along with some variables. And the variables actually just stand for real numbers. Um, so x just st holds the place for a real number. So what we're actually going to take advantage of is, are some properties that real numbers have. Uh, they're basically rules that all numbers follow. Um, and they look, I've got them up here, they look a little scary, but I think if we think about them in terms of actual numbers, they'll make a little more sense to you. So the first property that we can use that all numbers uh, follow, all numbers follow these rules, is called the commutative property. And what that commutative property does, it says it doesn't matter if we've got all addition, it doesn't matter what order we add in. So, for example, if we put some numbers in there to it, if I have 2 plus 5, right, that equals 7. Or if I at put the 5 first and then did the 2, that also equals 7. So 2 plus 5 is the same thing as 5 plus 2. And so what that says is it doesn't matter what order we uh, <coughs> add in, right? If we do the 2 first or the 5 first, we get the same answer no matter what. Um, if we can do the same thing with multiplication. So if we did... 3 times 4, right, we get 12. And again, if we do 4 times 3, we also get 12. So if you've got all addition, right, only addition in there, it doesn't matter what order we add in. If you've got all multiplication, it also doesn't matter what order we multiply in. We can do it however we want. Um, <coughs> so the second property we're going to use is called the associative property. And what the associative property says is that if I have three things, or more than one th more than two uh, things added together, or numbers added together, um, it doesn't matter which two I add first. So if I think about two plus three plus four, right, if I add the two and the three first, I get five, and five plus four gives me nine. Uh, so if I alternately add the 3 and the 4 first, 3 plus 4 gives me 7. So I have the 2 plus the 7 gives me 9. So again, I get the same answer no matter which, uh, what order I add them together in. So we don't care how the numbers associate with each other. If the 2 associates with the 3 first, and then the, they associate with the 4 last, or if the 3 associates with the 4 first and associates with the 2 last. Um, this also works for multiplication, so if we ch try it out for yourself, if we change these to multiplication and did the 2 times the 3 first and then multiply by 4, you should get the same answer if you did the 3 times the 4 first and then multiplied by 2. Um, <coughs> The last property that we're going to use, and is one of the most useful ones, because it connects multiplying and adding. So what it says is if I've got two numbers added together and then multiplied on the outside by number, another number, that's the same thing as if I multiplied the number on the outside by the first number on the inside, and then also by added that to the second number multiplied by the number on the outside, which sounds really confusing. Um, but if we put it in with numbers, I think it'll make sense to you. So normally we'd follow the order of operations for this. So we do the 3 plus the 4, which would give me 7. And then 2 times 7 gives me 14. But what this distributive property says is that th we should get the same answer if we do 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. Well, 2 times 3 gives me 6. 2 times 4 gives me 8. 
And sure enough, I get 14. So we get the same answer whether we multiply the 2 to each piece and then add, or whether they add first and then multiply last. So you might be asking yourself, how in the world does this help us? Well, this is going to help us simplify these, these algebraic expressions. So this second one that I wrote up here, right, we could use some of these properties on it. We could use the distributive property. Okay? Um, <clears throat> and so because all numbers follow these rules, right, we can always use these to rewrite our algebraic expression with something that's equal to it, but just looks a little nicer and is easier for us to work with. So that's our goal, is to use these rules that all numbers follow to be able to rewrite expre complicated expressions in a way that we can work with them better.